What's going on here? What's going on guys? This is Ozzy Van Man. And where are we today? We're somewhere out in the Arizona desert. Now, I am supposed to be hiking from a certain place, but as you can see in the background there, my uh, van is just abandoned on the side of this uh, power line road out here. This is uh, another reason you don't uh, trust Google Maps because Twice now, Google Maps has taken me down the wrong road, and I've got to the point where it's absolutely too sandy, and you need a four-wheel drive to get through here. So, my only option is to go back out of here, and it took me so long. I've spent two hours trying to get to my destination, and I just couldn't get out here. I've gotten close now, but I just couldn't get any further. So, I'm having to hike by foot to the destination. Now, what we are covering today is the uh, case of Daniel Robinson, who went missing over a year ago now. Now, he's further out on the west side compared to where my other people I search for are. Um, basically, Daniel Robinson is a geologist, a young geologist, who come out here Real quick, we'll go through the Daniel Robinson case while I'm hiking out here and uh, catch you guys up to speed on that. And then where I'm heading to right now is, uh, if I can get there by foot, will be the uh, spot where they actually found Daniel Robinson's vehicle, uh, which was abandoned out in the desert. We'll go over the case real quick and then we'll see you over there. Daniel Robinson is a missing man, aged 24 at the time of his disappearance, last seen June 23rd, 2021. Daniel Robinson was a geologist. Now, of the morning of June 23rd, 2021, he was uh, last seen by some workers of a drill site that he was at. Now, according to witnesses, he uh, was acting erratic, looking off into the distance and after a while, he actually got in his vehicle and drove off. Um, after this point at 9.30 when he left the job site, there was no phone calls answered by him again. And uh, nobody could get a hold of him and nobody's seen him again after this point. Initial searches in the area didn't come up with anything. This did gain quite a bit of uh, traction with the news outlets as uh, this did happen around the same time as the Gabby Petito case. Uh, after a month, they actually did find his car in the desert near the uh, Sun Valley Parkway area off into a remote area. It was in a wash upside down and had quite a bit of damage to it with a number of uh, Daniel's possessions scattered around on the ground outside the vehicle. So uh, searches took up from there, and although a number of human remains have been found out in the desert as a result of this search, uh, none of them have turned up to be anything to do with Daniel's case. Now, Daniel was 24 at the age of his disappearance. He was 5'8 high, and about 165 pounds. He had one left arm missing from the elbow down uh, from birth, and he is of African-American descent. We're getting close to where the car was found. I don't know if I'll find the exact GPS location of it because I don't have it written down here with me, but I know it's down that way. But this is the area that he drove into, and I was wondering what it was on the uh, satellite it's like some big workings that was down here and i really don't know i still don't know what exactly what it is it looks like there's a lot of water catchment down here we'll get the camera on that see you can see the earth's been moved a heck of a lot over here 
And it almost looks like it's like, like a canal sort of thing. There's some fencing over there I can see. I don't know what's going on there. And there's all these massive, massive pits all through here. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly what all this was used for, but definitely heavily altered. We're near the power lines, there's a substation just up there. I may have to actually go check out what that is over there. I'm seeing lots of top and fences and stuff going on. I have no idea what that is. It's very strange. But we want to keep going this way because that's where the uh, car was found over this way for now. All right, let's go check it out. And I, I was fairly certain that this area was going to be used for people four-wheel driving and all sorts of other stuff. Um, there's a heap of empty rounds and targets set up here. Old Tannerite um, containers and stuff everywhere. Fire pits. So people are definitely been coming down here and partying and stuff. You can see all the brass everywhere. But yeah, there's all sorts of rounds out here. 556, five, uh, 762, 45s, 40s, 9mm. It's just scattered everywhere. There's shotgun rounds. And as you can see over here, we got the uh, Tannerite laying around everywhere. There's some targets over there. We've been blowing stuff up, shooting cans. There's uh, silhouettes and paper targets and a load more rounds down on the hillside here. You can see the ground's been shot up pretty hard over here. So it's a local hangout for somebody. One of their uh, targets laying in the fire here. I don't know what kind of metal that is they're using for targets. I don't know if it's something you buy or if it's uh, just something they put out here, some cooking dishes or whatever. An old hard drive here. Smoke grenade, they got smoke grenades out here. Somebody's been having a jolly old time. Tons and tons of shotgun shells everywhere. My lord, they've been shooting up a lot out here. That's crazy. All right, so the road's cut off just over here, but um, there's a big sort of wash going through it. So we're gonna walk through there. Um, I don't know when that got washed out, but I gotta figure out, I'm trying to figure out which way Daniel, if Daniel was driving the car. Certain people say certain things and you know, I respect their ideas on it, but myself, I, I'm searching for a person out here. So I gotta go down the avenue if they're missing, I gotta find them and that's what we're gonna do. This is washed out pretty bad. Look at the erosion everywhere. I don't even know if this goes through. But what we want to do today is I want to at least try find the uh, site where the car was. And then next time that I come out here, um, there's a certain wash that some people have been saying needs to be checked out. Okay, there's no way a car would have got through here. That's too narrow back here. Try to get back up. No wonder it fell apart. This ground is really soft up here. All right. Oh man. What I'm trying to find out is which way he would have been able to take his vehicle and drive over the edge. But 
Now I know what they're talking about. It, it's not easy. It's rough. I'm not really seeing many opportunities where you could have done it. So I'm gonna have to keep following further down until I see something. Okay, so we got the uh, military jets out here with me today. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them. He's doing a circle around me right now. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another one uh, circling around the back of him. They may be doing war exercises. Uh, sound like that the afterburner's on it. It's quite loud. Man, it's always amazing seeing them come through like that. Quite often out this way, this is where they like to fly and do their exercises. All right, we're getting close. I just looked on the map reference. So somewhere nearby is where his car was found. I'm just trying to get to the exact location now. Okay, so I'm round about in the area. I'm gonna check a couple of these little washes here. It's gotta be either this one behind me or this one in front of me. I can see cars have made it to this point before, but it's really rough going. I don't know how he, his car would have gotten through without severely damaging it. But weirdly, I have this like cross here that's been nailed down. It's a bit old. I don't know if this has something to do with the uh, with the uh, investigation. They could mark it for helicopters to fly over. I don't know. But they've nailed these planks of wood into the ground with massive nails and had a cross marked out there. So we've got to be on the right area. Okay, so I believe I found the area where the uh, car was sitting. After looking at some photos, I believe it was right here in this wash. I can see some old tire tracks over here. It doesn't mean they're his. Could have been the tow truck that come down, or it could have been other people that are out here searching. But there's some tire tracks down here. It kind of ends here. You can't really go anywhere down here. Um, and looking at the... Uh, pictures and stuff i think the car was resting around here somewhere or maybe on this side here but it looks like he come or well, the vehicle came from over the top there down i don't know if it went into the wash and rolled there or if it turned down here it's quite a sharp sort of uh, angle there might have flipped over there and then rolled down into here hard to tell i'm not no expert on that stuff um but this appears to be the spot that cross that's marked is right on top of the hill here and uh, with the tire tracks and disturbed ground that's down here that appears to work with the story um so i'm gonna have a little quick look around this area i do have to get going shortly uh, unfortunately it took me way too long to get out here and i am a little bit worried where i left my van I do not want to be stuck here overnight. I don't want anyone thinking that's an abandoned van and setting it on fire or anything. So, um, if we were looking at, like, if he come out here, either got confused for whatever reason, I'm just trying to get in my head where he would go from here. So, most people generally go where the easiest non-resistance way to go and for this case that would be straight down that valley and i believe the search has already went down that valley it's quite overgrown now and it looks much different than it did a year ago it's much more greener we've had a lot more rain i know i believe they've searched that way maybe there's a wash directly that way straight over this hill I think over another wash into another hill. It's a pretty big looking wash and a lot of people on the internet have been saying that uh, they believe that he ended up down in that wash. Um, so I do want to go check that at some point. For, for today, I've only got a limited amount of time. I'm just going to search the immediate area here because honestly, most cases where someone's 
uh, deceased from the elements or something like that. Usually they're very close to where they set off from. Anyway, we'll have a little look, see what we can see out here. So another uh, idea that's been floating around my head for a while now, kind of matches up with what I've seen today, is if he had driven down, say, and stopped his car, you know, the area back there where everyone shoots, if he perhaps got out of there, went hiking, got lost, something went, happened to him, um, people coming by might have seen his car abandoned there and say if he'd left it open or whatever. I don't know if he left the keys in it or whatever. Who knows? But uh, I was thinking, and it kind of matches up, what if somebody was joyriding in it down there and then they dumped it down there with all these belongings? Not too sure. Maybe that doesn't add up. But it's just an idea. So sometimes you just got to think of different possibilities so you can get fresh ideas on where to look. Now I've climbed down and up and I'm going across. I know I said I wasn't going to, but curiosity's gotten the better of me i'm seeing some uh fences or something up here so i don't know if it's a mine shaft or some sort of ranching fences or what could be ranch fences but uh i better not go that way i really need to start heading back uh, i may put my drone up over that area where people go shooting because you know he could have uh, ended up in there somewhere. There's a lot of pits over there and stuff. I would hope that the sheriff's department would, would have searched that, but who knows. All right, I'm gonna start slowly making my way back over there. Oh, all right. So, nothing in the immediate area. Um, I am seeing a heck of a lot of animal tracks out here, so. It's frequent, frequented quite a lot by animals. After hearing about the story, reading about the story, actually getting out here and seeing things for yourself, sort of gives you more perspective on it. And it hasn't really cleared anything up for me at all. Um, so I don't know, really don't know. But I do plan on coming out here and do some more searches. I need to figure out, oh, there's some dirt bike tracks. I need to figure out um, a better way to get here because Google Maps has decided to screw me over once again. <laughs> uh, I need to make it back to my van because I'm losing light and the way I got in here wasn't a very good one. So. I need to make it back to my van for sure very very soon um, all right so i'm gonna get over to that area over here that i was telling you about with the shooting and all that and we're gonna put the drone up and i'm gonna have to hoof it all the way to my van to try to get out of here all right we'll see you in a little bit
all right guys so uh as you just seen there a bit of drone footage i didn't get to go up for very long um the uh the airplanes in the area were messing with my drone uh signal so uh, i had to bring it in pretty quick otherwise i was risking losing signal altogether um definitely want to check this area out a lot more because there's all these pits and there's something really weird looking over there uh i didn't see it on the drone i could kind of see it on my phone like there's something sitting in the middle of that pit i don't know it's like white and big i want to go check that out i don't know what that is um yeah i'm not saying foul play i never jumped to foul play but you never know so um all right i'm gonna have to make the long trek back to my van now hopefully no one's messed with it uh <laughs> And then I got to try get out of here while there's still enough light to do so. And hopefully I don't get stuck in the sand. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. There will be more on this case as I'm only just scratching the surface. Um, also, um, the man who's missing out here, his father has a YouTube uh, to raise awareness about his case. I'll put the link um, into uh, his YouTube. He does, um, I believe it's one once or twice a week he'll do uh live streams uh where he talks about the case what's going on with the case uh and uh keeps us all up to date so anyway go check out uh daniel robinson's father's uh youtube show him some support over there um he is uh trying to uh bring more awareness to this case i know it blew up pretty big on the news a lot of you probably already know about this case um but as per usual once the uh once the uh, public gets bored with something they all forget about it so um that's why he's trying to do his own youtube now to keep people aware and it's kind of partially why i do these videos too a lot of people they're quick to forget about these cases or they never hear from them in the, about or they ne never hear about them in the first place so uh yeah Alrighty, guys i made it back to my van and we're slowly making my way out of here uh we're losing the light i know it looks brighter on the camera but uh the amount of time it took me to uh get in here i was worried about i'd be trying to find my way out of here in the dark and, and then i've used uh google maps again and google maps has taken me a different way out of here so once again i find myself on a uh, road i don't know going a direction i do not know i mean it's kind of taking me towards the white tanks by the looks of it but we're on the opposite side of the white tanks that i want to be so this should be interesting um yeah but I'm heading a different direction because I want to go to a different destination now. Um, I think it's taken my, me the original way that I wanted to come in and it's taken me out that way, which I think would have saved me a lot of pain and hassle if I had have uh, taken this way to get in here instead of out of here. So anyway, here's what it is, but everything worked out in the end. Um, it was good to uh, get my eyes on the site today and um, yeah, just get an idea of what I'm looking at. It's it's really, it's a pretty far trek in to get out here. Um, it's just strange, like trying to figure out why the vehicle was where it was. It's not the most easiest place to get to and whether he knew that area was there or not, but the fact his car was like up you had to drive it up over an area where there's no roads or anything up into through the scrub and bush and then like fly down an embankment it's very strange it it almost looks like the vehicle was purposely crashed or purposely dumped out there like that whether it was Daniel or not I don't know I can't for say I can't say for sure all I know is somebody somebody put that vehicle there like that on purpose I just don't know I don't know what the answers are I'm looking for on that 
but uh, I definitely plan on coming back out here and looking into this. Um, there's something else out here that has to be found. I don't know what I'm going to be looking for. Anyway, guys, i got to try and make myself, make my way out of here. Check this out where I'm going. Middle of nowhere out here. Oh, these roads are really rough out here. My van's definitely not made to do this sort of work. Uh, this is actually the lighter road. This is nice and wide. The other road was tiny and shallow and oh, there's a mattress. I find all sorts of weird stuff just dumped out here. Uh, found a bunch of uh, cattle bones out here. There's so many roads just going off into nowhere out here. It's hard to tell where anything leads to out here. I really don't know this area. This is the first time I've been into this area before. So it's uh, kind of a little bit spooky. Oh, there's a closed gate up here. Oh man, I hope I can get through this gate. Otherwise I gotta turn around and go all the way back. All right guys, wish me luck. Uh, you know what to do, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And until next time guys, this is Aussie Van Man. We'll see you later. What's going on here?